I really feel like I've been pressured into doing this. I wonder. I really wonder what this one is definitely going to be about. But the title of this trailer pretty much is going to say it all. I'm not looking forward to it. I'm really not. My life is not easy. I mean, these trailers can, you know, you just never know what people want me to review. You'd be surprised what I find on my own. And I really think something is wrong with me sometimes when I find these trailers. And when I look at them, I'm like, why the fuck did I look at them in the first place? What was I thinking at that moment and second in time when I decided to review this? But you know what? Because you are my fans, you like my reaction to these movie trailers, I'm doing this for you. I am going to take one for the team. So you know what? Let's do this. Let's get it over with. Let's move on with our lives. Let's just do this. And hope that I'm still breathing afterwards. One moment. Angel, get from over there now. Now. Move. Thank you. It's a lot of pressure being prepared. Don't be surprised. Oh, pine wood. Okay. 100 miles off the coast. We got a little pressure read on the pipeline. We are a four man saturation dive team. You know, there's a storm in the way. We came here to do a job. They're out in the middle of the fucking ocean and now a storm is coming. Are you serious? Yeah, sort of They're going underwater. We're ready to leave service. Open. Just to let you guys know, FYI, I can't fucking swim. You gotta watch. He's pregnant. What the hell? Oh, God. Turn on the radio. What Delta the hell? surface. Delta surface. I don't want to stabilize. I don't know why we're not stabilizing. This is where we're going. Out of the storm. That's why. Are they sinking further down the boat? Oh, stop. On the boat. Place yourself. Place. at the bottom of the fucking ocean. We do what we were trained to do, and I promise you we will get out of here. We've lost over half of our air. You've got to seal the bell and take her to the surface. Will it work? Don't that hide yourself. We'll soon find out. Don't that fucking ocean. I rest my case. In 2015. Mitch, are you okay? Yeah. Mitch, talk to me! We're right. losing oxygen! Talk to me! Oh, hell no. No! Hi, I'm Valerie with more action. I told you before I didn't think long enough hard enough before I decided to review that trailer I just dug headfirst no pun intended that movie was called pressure mm -hmm. don't you just love when they come up with these wonderful titles that involve the body your your, your vision your your breathing your everything I mean wonderful it really it is no scream <laughs> saw <laughs> apparently it's a crew of men out in the middle of nowhere 100 miles away from land um something about a, a pressure vial is broken or whatever so they send these men down into a submarine I guess to fix it and unfortunately, something goes terribly wrong. They wind up at the fucking bottom of the damn ocean. And if, if I'm not mistaken here, I think when you are all the way down at the bottom of the ocean, you only have a certain amount of, of, air, of oxygen to breathe before you actually cannot breathe. So you got to literally hurry up and get to the surface. 
You know, it's kind of like a, a, a dumbass trying to go all the way down to the bottom of the ocean to see the Titanic when you know your motherfucking ass going to be dead probably within the next few seconds. So now they got to sit over here and try to get back up to the surface before the pressure runs out. I don't know what you guys told you during the trailer. I can't swim for shit. You throw me in the deep end. Goodbye. I will not survive. I can do all this and flare and all this other crap. That will work. I would literally have to wear a fucking life jacket in order for me to stay afloat. I can't swim. My husband was in the Navy, so he had no choice but to learn how to swim. So he's the only adult in this house that can swim. I can't swim for shit. So if I drown, he'll have to save me. But then again, he'll probably let me drown on purpose just to be funny. But anyway, just just the formality there. Um, but no, I'm not going to go see this movie. No, no. Can you really imagine me sitting in a theater just going... <gasps> I'm not going to survive. I can't do that. No, I'm sorry. I need to breathe. I, I want to live. Okay? I, I'm the kind of person where I, if something just does not feel right or look right to me, I'm damn sure not going to try it out um, no matter what, just to throw that out there. But that movie looked like it was, um, it looks like it's very intense. They did say it was a thriller, more like a drama thriller. And um, yeah, I definitely would not even go see this at all you know it's it's kind of like um uh it's kind of like that movie that um paul walker um was in um damn it it's off the tip of my fucking tongue um i think it was called hours you know where it was the hurricane katrina and um paul walker portrayed this uh soon-to-be father whose uh wife died a child childbirth and she had and the baby had to be on an incubator and um, she had to use this this machine that kept her alive. But then a Hurricane Katrina came through. So he's sitting over here trying to fight for the life of his child. If she doesn't get, if this machine doesn't work properly, she'll die. And at the last minute, I thought the baby did die. But when at the end, when they put the baby in his arms, she was alive. So it was it's one of those type of intensity type movies. So we don't know who gonna live. We don't know who gonna die. But whatever happens... I'm not going to watch it. Nope. I'll just look at Wikipedia and see who died and who lived and all that other good shit. That's where I go when I don't want to watch a certain movie. I go to Wikipedia. Works for me. But if I see something else to my interest, I will let you know. But if the title just seems very intense, I'm definitely going to have to think twice on reviewing it. So until then... I will see you guys soon. Deuces.